This is going to be a short video explanation of how to pre-charge and discharge circuits for someone with no electronics background. I'll be explaining it through the analogy of water tanks and valves representing capacitor banks and resistors. The first thing to understand is that the motor controller that powers the motors are essentially massive capacitor banks that translate the power from the accumulator to three, uh, three individual AC power sources seen by the motors. These will be represented by small water reservoirs. The pre-charge and discharge resistors will be represented by flow restricting, restricting valves in the water system. The accumulator will be represented by an infinitely large water source. If we look at the system without any add-ons, it's fairly easy to understand. There's an infinite source of water that leads to two small reservoirs. The valve connecting the two reservoirs to the water source is, represented by, is representative of the airs, which is powered by the rest of the shutdown circuit. If we think about this, as soon as the valve opens, the water will rush into the reservoirs with no, with no way to control its rate of flow, and hence will flow as fast as possible until the reservoirs are full. As a bit of a rule, we'll need to think about the speed of the water directly correlating to how hot the valve gets. Therefore, if we simply open the valve and let the water flow in, it will theoretically get extremely hot. This is exactly what happens with the airs. When the airs are closed between the motor controllers and the accumulator without any safety circuits for a short amount of time, there is an infinite current passing through the airs, and this is possible to generate enough heat to weld the two metal contacts within the airs shut. We therefore need a way to restrict this water flow and to avoid this excessive heat generation. This is where the pre-charge pre circuit comes in. This is a way to fill the reservoirs up prior to opening the valve so there is no water required to flow through the main valve to fill them up. The way this works uh, is by having a smaller flow restricting valve between the water source and the two reservoirs that allows a slow flow rate to slowly fill the reservoirs up. This means that when the reservoirs are full and the main valve is closed, no water should flow through it at all. Like this. Uh, and this is exactly what happens with the electrical, electrical equivalent circuit. When the pre-charge resistor is connected, it slowly fills the motor controllers up. And then when they're full, the motor controllers and the accumulator are at the same voltage. This means that the airs are when the airs are closed, there is no current flow and hence no heat generated. Now that we've safely filled up the reservoirs, we need to look at what to do when the car turns off. If we simply, simply close the main valve, uh, the two small reservoirs will still be full of water. And we'll then, if we then look at the electric counterpart, having this power stored in the two motor controllers isn't safe. As isn't it, even if the accumulator is disconnected, there is still 170 volts present on the tractive system, which is extremely dangerous. We therefore need a way to dissipate this energy out of the controllers, and this is done with the discharge circuit. We can look at, uh, we can look at this in the water analogy again. We put another flow restricting valve between the two reservoirs and the water source as shown. We need to make an assumption here that doesn't make 100% sense in the water, water analogy, but does in the electrical domain. And this is that the water will flow from the two reservoirs back to the water source. Therefore, when, discharging, when the discharging valve is opened, the water will flow back into the water source and empty the reservoir whilst heating up. Once this is complete, the reservoirs are again empty and need to go through, uh, and are able to go through the pre-charging circuit again. And that's how the pre-charge-discharge circuit works.